Hi and welcome to the Tracetronic screencast series about the ECU test test automation software. In this video, I want to show you how test results are documented in ECU test. For this purpose, I loaded our test case from the previous screencast, how to evaluate test cases and execute the test by clicking run. This will redirect us directly to the test report. Here, you'll see that ECU test makes an entry for each test case step. That means the report gives us detailed information about what and how we have tested. Wherever we have specified expectations, ECU test automatically evaluates if those expectations were met or not. In our precondition, for instance, we had expected our engine speed to equal zero. This expectation corresponds with our measurement result and is therefore rated as a success. In our action block, we anticipated the engine speed to be above 800 RPM. We measured 818, that means this step is again rated as a success. The comparison of both bus and ECU value is however rated as failed, since they differ from each other by more than 0.5%. The evaluation of the individual test steps is aggregated upwards in the hierarchy, that means rating one test step as failed leads to a failed rating for the entire action block, and thus to a failed rating for the entire test case. In this test case overview, you can also see by the way how and with what kind of settings the test was run. Back to the test steps. In case anyone wonders why, within the precondition, the evaluation is not aggregated upwards. This is because the precondition block is a special structural element for preparing the test case. Since the preparation result shall only influence the overall performance in the event of an error, the evaluation is not aggregated. A few general tips for handling reports. Up here you have the chance to directly jump to the test report file on the hard disk with open report folder. With Generate Report, you can export this report to different formats. Expand by Rule allows you to open and close the hierarchy using rule-based criteria, which can be very helpful especially for large reports, since you can, for example, only display those blocks that contain a failed rating. Furthermore, a very useful hotkey, by pressing shift and double-clicking on whatever element of the test case, you will be redirected to this very position in the test case itself, which allows you to quickly adjust your expected values. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and see you soon.